I'm going to make a little uh, note here about a really neat little flashlight I came across. This is an Energizer flashlight and it has a swivel head on it. It's adjustable to three different settings. I carried this when I was in Afghanistan because we had times when we had to be in a red out situation which meant all white light was prohibited and you could only use red light to get around in and see in the dark so you wouldn't get snipered, that type of thing. It's got two batteries and the cool thing about it is these batteries only go in with the positive side or the nipple side down. So you can carry them separately and when you're ready to put them in <clears throat> You can put them in nipple side down, they both burn. But if you put in one nipple side up, then you're only running off one battery. So you can conserve one battery in full power for later if you leave it nipple side up. You can always flip it around later. So you put it in nipple side down, they're both nipple side down, they're both active. If you flip them and put them nipple side up, both of them, well then you've got nothing. Okay? So it's got a lock on the door here that keeps it locked shut. It's got a lock that keeps it from turning on or off accidentally. I can turn it on here. It's got three different brightness settings, a bright, a medium, and a low, and then an off. And it also has the different beam settings. There's your blue, there's your red, and there's your green, which you can use any one of them independently, of course. Uh, a lot of times overseas, we would use the red one. And that, these three lights also have three different intensity settings. So you can go on low red to work with just what's in your immediate area and not give out your position. Now, the really cool thing about this is when you're trying to get rescued. In that case, you can turn on infrared. And when these choppers are flying around trying to find you and they've got their night vision goggles on, they will see this. So this is a very, very cool thing. And I can press the button on the bottom and I can have it flashing infrared. So that's just a pretty neat little deal there. That's what it looks like. You can find them, I'm sure, on the internet. That's where I got mine somewhere. I don't recall where right now. But... Uh, it's an Energizer tactical flashlight. I can't remember the exact name, but this is what it's called. Okay, that's what it looks like. Really nice little unit. Just thought I'd share that and pass it along. And when I store my batteries, if I'm not going to be in my pack for a while, I'm going to take my batteries out. You'll notice this little slip of paper. That's got my name, phone number, and address on it. Or in my case in Afghanistan, it'd have my company name, unit number, that type of thing. I fold that up in there, roll it in there real nice, and in case someone finds this flashlight, uh, they might get it returned to me. Or, in the worst case scenario, if you get captured and you pitch it somewhere or you lose it, well, at least maybe some troops will find it and know they're on the right trail. So, just some thoughts there. I take the batteries out of most of my electronics when I'm not using them and store them in a plastic baggie because these things can corrode, okay? So I've got some toys from back in the 60s that got a little ruined because I left the batteries in them when I was a little kid. Come back 30 years later and they've got corrosion, all right? So if you store your batteries separately, at least you won't have the corrosion problem in your uh, accessor or in your, in your flashlight or in your electronics, okay? There you go.